All right, folks, so here we go. I'm kind of recording by sitting down uh, or laying down on my couch, but uh, I noticed that I have uh, a play in my forks and uh, the grinding noise uh, while I'm not necessarily riding the bike, but when I'm standing still, I apply the front brakes and move the back back and forth, it makes that grinding noise. So... <clears throat> I went ahead and I checked uh, for the uh, play in a headset and it came out to discover that I have a play in a, uh, in a headset. So this is the tool that I got to get. I originally had uh, a uh, kind of, uh, I don't have the uh, star uh, nut. I have uh, an expansion nut for carbon uh, fiber uh, headset or frame and obviously that didn't work <clears throat> the star nut six sinks in about a little bit over half an inch which is about one centimeter inside the uh the shaft and that's how it pulls up the entire uh front and suspension with the forks so pretty much what we have to do is we have to loosen all the uh, <clears throat> screws and nuts on the uh, forks. What I mean, uh, the uh, the crowns. There's one crown on the top, and there's one crown at the bottom. Um, and while you, once you loosen that up, you will uh, insert the uh, the tool, and you will insert the uh, star nut, and insert it for that uh, uh, one centimeter inside. And when you when you tighten it, it will a squeeze and uh, get rid of the uh, plate. So this is this is the, uh, the item that I purchased for about sixteen dollars. It's supposed to come tomorrow, so tomorrow we're going to uh, probably shoot a video and hopefully get rid of the slack, the plate that we have in the forks, which is pretty much expensive if you uh, uh, fall and get in the incident where it just falls apart because of the uh, slack. <clears throat> But so you can see, I'm getting th one, two, three, four items, um, and uh, there is that that special screw that you screw the uh, the star nut onto, and it's so simple. You place the shaft <clears throat> uh, on the uh, on uh, the uh, neck, and then you drive drive the. Uh, the whole thing with a hammer it, it's self-explanatory it's very very simple um <clears throat> as I said, it's a good quality and i think it's coming from china like always so you know oh, here we go you put that uh, uh nut in there and you continue so, yeah, this is pretty nice all right there you go that's that's the example of how you get it done and then on picture three, just slim it down and it goes right in. See, so picture one says what you get. Picture two is what you do with it. And picture three, put in a shaft, you hammer it, and it goes right in. All right, there you go. So simple, you know. It says do not use a hammer. I uh, I see how that could go wrong, but uh, we'll work with it. You know what I mean? and uh it looks good uh 99.9 .9 will get rid of the uh play and i should have done it from the get-go but i was too eager to put the bike together and uh <clears throat> it just didn't work out pretty much <laughs> just did not work out all right so hopefully guys uh next video you're gonna see is uh me either installing that or me telling you whether it worked out for me or not all right folks so until then be safe and be kind.